So I thought I'd do a quick video on uh, the basic tools that you need to install a mini split. And it's not mini, uh, it's just gonna be a real quick list. And uh, basically, uh, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a level, uh, to help level up the pad and make sure everything's level. Uh, you're gonna need some uh, hole saws to cut through the, cut through the wall. Uh, most of these mini splits are gonna say like two and a half inches hole saw. One of the, I'd like to do like three inches, that way I don't have to uh, fight the line set going through the wall. It, it, that's just a personal choice. Uh, but, um, and then I just, I just caulk the, uh, caulk it real good all the way around when I'm done. But, but you're going to need, you look at your instructions, but it's probably going to be a two and a half inch hole saw. And, uh, you're going to need a couple of wrenches to tighten up the fittings. You could use like a couple of crescent wrenches, or if you got the regular ones, it'd be even better, uh, the regular sizes, but for sure, like two crescent wrenches. And uh, you're going to need some Allen keys. Just buy yourself a set uh, and uh, to, to let loose the refrigerant into the system. Uh, you're also going to need a little adapter, mini split adapter. I'll put links down below for all this so you can see it. A lot of people forget to buy this right here. And uh, they'll be installing a mini split and, and then won't their uh, gauges uh, won't won't go uh, won't match up to it because they don't have this mini split adapter. So very important Make sure you get one of those. They're, they're cheap, but they can mess you up if you don't have one and uh, One of the things I like to use which is not necessary not mandatory or nothing But I use nylog on the fittings just to help with uh, for, with any leaks It's some good stuff um, Like I said, I'll put links down below if you want to check this stuff out and you're going to need some gauges, uh, either either analog gauges or micron gauges. So I like to use analog. It's just a personal choice. It's not going to matter much as long as you can get the system into a vacuum. Uh, if you if you the micron gauges are going to cost more. So uh, they they do work better. I mean, it'll tell you if you have a vacuum and you're vacuuming it down, you get it like uh, 300 microns, or you get it to 500 microns, and you know you're good to go. You don't have no leaks. Uh, doing it with uh, with analog gauges has been used for many years. It's a little bit different since you have to like sit there and wait and see if that if it loses its vacuum. You know, sometimes you can let it sit for like half an hour, an hour. Some people let it sit overnight, and then if it loses its vacuum, then you know you got a leak. With the micron gauge, you get it down to 500 microns. Uh, you know, there's no leak. So it's a personal option. These are a lot cheaper, and it's something I've been using forever, like 30 years. I've been using analog gauges, so I just. I just prefer them but either way it's not gonna matter just get good with whatever whatever tool that you get so either analog uh, gauges or a micron gauge and you're gonna need a vacuum pump I, I just use this little cheap one for uh, mini splits I've been using it for a long time like four or five years now um, this one is a Zenny it's just a single stage little uh, vacuum pump it's nothing special uh, real cheap. I think it was like 50 bucks when I bought it. Um, so, but you are going to need one. And uh, so if you want, like I said, I'll put the links down below for what I'm using here. And of course, you're going to need a drill to uh, drill everything, to drill your holes and everything. So that's basically it. That's a rough idea on what you need to install a mini split. It's not much, but it's kind of nece it's necessary. And uh, whatever you do, don't forget to get this little mini split adapter, which is very important and can mess you up if you don't have it. So if you have any questions, uh, ask me down below. If you have anything to add, ask me down below. But that's basically it. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.